so hey everybody i've i've made some major changes to my life um no longer in the cabin but i'm still off grid i'm still on a mountaintop <laughs> in a different location and i now own this wonderful camper welcome to my camper um last night was my first night of um minus 11. now the there was minus 25 below zero wind chills the previous two nights. So I can't say that this minus 11, even though it was the lowest temperature, um, was the, um, you know, the hardest night that I've had. Um, but the, but it did do some, some things that, um, are part of the learning process of off-grid living. <laughs> so, here I am today in the camper, and it's, it is a gorgeous, it's up to 18 degrees. We're going to go outside, because I don't want to be sitting in here for very long, but I wanted to share with you some of the things that happened. Um, one of the things is my um, water container. This is my drinking water, and it froze. Um, so... Fortunately, not all of it froze, so I was able to pour out to the water that I needed for drinking. I have it near the wood stove now to uh, thaw out. Um, I'm melting snow right now. Here's the thing with the cold temperatures, and I haven't been able to keep up with my water supply, which is melting snow for washing. I haven't um, bathed. I haven't washed my hair, I should say, in a week and a half, and I've got to do it. It's got to be done tonight. I don't want to waste the sunlight to do it, and I need to um, melt the snow anyway for water. So that's what I'm the process I'm in right now. You can see I've got the water on the wood stove, the snow on the wood stove melting. I'm going to go out and get another uh, pan of it in a minute. Um, major repercussion is that somewhere in my um, in my sink. Um, uh, pipe, my pipe, um, the water froze. So, um, here's the thing. This could be a tragedy that I could lose my ability to use my sinks, you know, as, as, as a drain for the rest of the winter. But this happened last week when it got below zero. And what I did last week was just open the doors, um, and right now the sun is shining on it. I've got the wood stove cranking. Um, so it's very, very warm in here with the sun. And I'm hoping that, like like last week, it was somewhere in the catch and it drained out. And I'm hoping that is going to be the case here. Um, uh, so we'll, we'll see about that. We'll see. Water's backed up. Another thing that happened was... Uh, I, I had this, uh, box, I'll try to show you here, this box of, it's, it's, um, what do you call it? Carbonated water. Um, this has, a uh, raspberry juice and lime juice in it. And I had the box over near the door and, um, I, I'm, I'm cooking my lunch, right? I'm over here. I'm standing at the stove and I'm cooking my lunch on the stove and all of a sudden there's this fucking explosion. Like it was like, I thought like either my camper had broken in half. I, out of the corner of my eye, I saw shrapnel flying. <laughs> I thought either my camper had broken in half, you know, a light busted or something major broke or, um, you know, I didn't, that, that's the only thing I knew at that point. So, I, 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 oh, the other was I thought maybe somebody was shooting at me. It was like that, it was that intense. I thought somebody shot, you like, could have been shooting through, the, through, my, through my camper. So, when I felt safe enough, I came over and examined, and the, the frickin' carbonated water had frozen, and then the can had, a can had exploded. When I came over here to look, there was, there, all over my coat, and, whatnot. There was what looked like uh, watered down blood. It was splattered everywhere. It was the raspberry juice. <laughs> oh God. Fun times. Fun times in the extreme cold. So I'm uh, indulging in my, mm, my afternoon cocktail. 
and um let's go outside let's go outside i'm collecting water the door oh, shoot the door jam is frozen oh, shoot okay so it makes it more difficult for me to go in and out oh i i need to bring my gloves outside as well how am i gonna do this how am i gonna film this while I am oops oh boy oh boy I gotta put my gloves on this is an experiment I have to edit this part out Totally edit this part out. 